Get back here, you little bitch. You owe me money. Ah! Welcome back, guys. My name is Elias Cyrus, and we are playing The Wolf Among Us Episode 3. I am so excited to play this. Ah, as you can tell by that crazy little thing I did in the picture of this. But we're playing it. Anyway, so since this game's going to take an eternity to load, I'm going to give you the backstory. Uh, we investigated a hotel where Lily the Troll was murdered after she got glamoured herself to look like Snow White, and it, it looks like Crane was the murderer. That, or he was screwing her and he was her client that Our wanted to Our stories used to be so simple. Ooh, we had a beginning, a middle, and an end. Yeah. There That's how all stories are. This awful city. Everything's gotten so confused. Look, I did not kill him. out. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Are you sure? Snow. Yeah. Okay, they're recapping for us. I gotta remember they do that. I just want you to be careful. Did that I in the last episode. You once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like no. If it's not Holly. Yes. Her sister Lily. I made him walk into she his own looking. fucking steps. <laughs> made him walk into his own Eventually, wall. The only people she owed were at her wall. Oh, please don't show you the titties again. Damn it! I gotta censor on. shit again. My name is Nerissa. Well. Marissa, I've got some questions. All right, I'm gonna make this episode really short then, because the open arms. Putting a half-hour-long episode is like two and a half to three gigs of memory, and that takes forever to upload into iMovie or any editor that I use, really. So it's crazy. Shit. So this episode ends up being like this part of this episode ends up being like 15 to 20 minutes long. I apologize, but I have to censor the titties again. Why did I have to pick a game with naked people? Yeah, that revelation just hit us over the head, and here we go. Ready, three, two, one. Be mad. Be enraged. Oh, I can be mad. That piece of shit. Motherfucking piece of shit. Crane? Ugh. God, oh, I call people you piece of shit. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. Shit. What's going on? What Crane. did you find up there? You know, other than the... I, need I just to... need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? Crane's a bitch. Shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Yeah. Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Damn, Big B. Where did you see her last? I guess the tension. Did she say the tension is so she so thick Holly right now. Office to prepare for the funeral. It's like the spring over your garage door. Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right Excuse now? me, you're running a prostitution yeah. hotel place thing. Big B. You're running a whorehouse. You're the receptionist Wait. of a whorehouse and you're giving beast crap for drinking? Really, bitch? Really? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. Pot? I'm Kettle. You're black. Just... Really? Please be careful when you tell her. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, yeah. it's going to be much worse for her. Well, no shit, but she it's deserves to know. That way she can avoid him. And I can kill him. Well, not really kill him, or like thrash him limb from rim, limb like a baby lamb, throw it into a grizzly bear pen. <laughs> I'm not using a wolf analogy on him, because he's already a wolf, but I'm going to use a freaking grizzly bear. Can you imagine how much a grizzly bear would maul a baby lamb if it was hungry enough? And just It's unfair, but that's how it's going to be with me and Crane. I'm going to rip him to shreds. But I am being careful, because I'm not convinced that he killed her yet. Not enough evidence to support that. It looked like he was he reenacting the scene to sleep with her. He might have killed her at the end, but this looked like... Because if that were the truth, then he would have killed Faith a long time ago. Because Lily was covering for Faith. So... Some shit is going down. Oh, we're going to the funeral of the people that hate me. Why are they doing it under a bridge next to porter potties and a construction zone? Hey! Hello, everybody. What? If you're here, then 
You were part of a very Don't special interrupt. circle. Let, let's just People be, she let's be respectful. And cared for. It can wait. I'm right here. I won't um, offend <coughs> you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. Your Highness. Oh, uh, Sheriff. Hey, you're alive still. Sorry, I uh, and I owe him up. About as well as you think. I haven't had any other, um... It's never been as bad as when you saw me, at least. Yeah, man. I was I angry imagine. at first. Ego Raptor's back, everybody! Ladies game. and gentlemen, Ego Raptor's in this Holly game. was getting closer. Again. I wanted that, too. And he doesn't look so damn I dry. He got a glass of water. But Speaking of water, I'm thirsty. Remember. Come here. Come here, bottle. Lived a story Lily never did. Come here. She had her adventure. She got to live in the light of forever after. Mm. For a while. So let Lily have the better finish. It all evened it out. In the end. I'll just say I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lawrence. I know, Sheriff. And thanks for saving my life. Of course, man. Take care of things, okay? She would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll Do I have, have to interrupt? Moment of silence. Thank you. Let's just... Oh, let's, let's see if we can, uh... Wait patiently. I don't want to interrupt. I mean, it's a funeral. I'll miss worrying about you. I'll miss our fights. I'll miss you, Holly. Aww. Bigby, is everything okay? Nope. No, not you. I was nice. It's, he wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. What? Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve Wait, to what? show your face here. What? I didn't after throw it. Lie after you I didn't. Me. What? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. Yeah. I didn't I'm telling know. you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Holly gonna be okay I'm sorry Holly I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well I didn't take big cares Holly he's trying to help and right and now I'm cranes sure and he has a very good reason for being here oh but yeah <laughs> you're gonna love this one lady <laughs> Let me here do. anyway and don't say it's because you care about this everything okay I mean it's really this way I think I know who murdered your sister damn Maybe what? we should talk about this somewhere else. What? No, I deserve to know. Oh, I'm gonna throw Crane so know. far under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be <coughs> told, it's me. It's us right now. Fine. I talk. I talk. I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane. Rain. Okay, everyone, just stop. Big B and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to. The I'm going to be open eyes. I'm, I'm throwing him under the bus. that fucking crane murdered Lily, and you expect me? To... Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on. Just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. I already did my job. Look. Holly, I know how this must No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Damn straight. Holly don't Lee. Fuck down anything thick. Up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Everybody giving me the pressure to... Everybody's just putting me under pressure like... Mah! 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 I can't believe this. Oh, I got a picture, bitch. This is someone I've worked with for decades. This is a guy. He gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mean, what are you telling me? It, it's all an act? 
Just, what have you found? I will show you what I've found. Higby? What's going on? There we go. Lily was Crane's prostitute. Yep. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least, Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. Yeah. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. Yeah. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, Snow. But and I'm sorry what? I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Yes. Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. I don't know if photos I want to show you. Show him. He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look. I'd show her the photo, but I don't. She said she doesn't even want a picture, so Crane's it's like, there right. at this hour, but I'll just hold on to this. We need to talk, and this isn't the place. Snow, Narissa, what is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Don't, not Two yet. Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um, no, I understand. It's just that something's come up. No, I time. get it. Take your time. It won't take long. Go for it. I'm not gonna ask if she's okay, because that's a stupid question. It's like, eight. no! How'd it go? At the motel. Blech! Did you find anything? <laughs> Yeah, it went great. It was Crane's room. But you knew that already, right? <coughs> that hurt my throat. <laughs> there is a... Yeah, um, coming. No. You stay here. I need something nice to look at. Please don't leave me so alone. <laughs> I'm paying attention. I'm sorry. Constable. Constable. Fuck! Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's Now it's proper. really not the time, now gentlemen. It's really not the time for whatever you jerk-offs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. <coughs> Snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. What and bird? I'm gonna eat this bird. In that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. Can't do it. Just take a vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Brother? Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please. Rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that. It ain't any of your... What deal? I'm not making any deal with you. So just get the fuck out of here and leave these people alone. Now. Yeah. Guys, what did I tell you? What did I say? Holly, you think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. Yeah, listen to your lady, love. Things uh, don't have to. I'll turn handle it. I'll now. be the man. Holly, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead. Oh, come on, I'm man! Tell you. Holy. Holy. Oh, shit, he shot her? I got it, dumb. 
My gun! Give me that gun! Give me that gun, boy! Give me that gun! I'm gonna beat you within an inch of your fat life. Oh no, Grin! <laughs> oh! Oh, you dick! Oh shit, is Holly dead? Oh no, wait, they're fables. They don't, they don't die that easy, do they? She couldn't have died that easy, could she? There's no way they die that easy. It's not a shotgun round, really? That's what it takes. They made it seem like they were impossible to kill, and then all of a sudden it's like, yeah. oh, okay. I was gonna say, holy fuck! A hell of a way to start your game, guys. A telltale story by Adam Hines and Ray Canfun, directed by Martin Montgomery. What else? The cafe the among us. I am reading everything on the screen because I this game. Art direction, David Bogan. Environments, Kim Lyons. Uh, uh, Animation, Jeff Sarr. Choreography, Darn the Bad. That. Kian Patterson. And music by James. F fucking fucky fuck. Damn it. I swear to God. That shit was intense. They always know. The perfect way to open every episode. That was awesome. I can't wait to see where the rest of this goes. This is going to be great. Episode 3. A Crooked Mile. Oh, are we going to see the Crooked Man? I wonder if someone cut a bad deal. Hey, Dr... The fuck's your name? I never met you I yet, but I heard I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. Oh, that's Elevators fantastic. Their way out on their own, but until they do, you're going to be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed fable time physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. I'm ripped. Harry is a <sighs> well, wolf, beast, Don't monster. Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's yeah. everyone else? They all make it. They're fine. Yay! Got wounded, sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said: the stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Well, it's Every not like I can it. help it. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. I'll be nice. I'm nice. I'm good guy, Big B. Business office. Notice from my last two episodes, I my playthrough. I'm good guy, Big B. The town I'm is starting nice to find man. out. Well, I'll leave you two to it. What the hell? This Who wife, is Bigby? talking? How does this shit get about? Like, damn, Big B got shot. He tried to protect us. So, to recap... Crane watched yeah. me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms. And then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. Because Crane's an asshole. I know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. Kinda, hopefully. So... It's not gonna be that easy. That's the plan. Some parts can be Currently. missing. But, I, I don't know. Alright, what'd you find? Leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. Alright. What the hell is going on? Just, shit. Not the shit. I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? I have my doubts. Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? I'm, I'm honestly confused not as sorry. you are, to be honest. I don't know. Doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. Yup. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> Murdering no, I'm sorry. prostitutes. Ow. Everything yeah, that does seem okay a bit beyond him. He is kind of yes, a chicken Miss shit. Just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. What? Well, that could have gone really... Terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. 
I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah, I mean, damn, that sucks. Your sister dies just trying to give her a proper send off, and they just fuck her At over. Least like that. I hope so, for her sake. Can I um, ask you a question? What's up? Why are you it's moving so close? Uh, and I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. All right, go. Uh. It's just when stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight. Yeah. It feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. I don't know where you heard it. The lying. Because it gives you can't prove it. Used to just you know. Stop pretending. Damn. Oh, no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. I'm a I monster, damn it. I don't like it. You think I like being alone? Uh, no one guys, likes being alone. We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Damn it, I knew it. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's a... Uh... Crane took Crane it. must have taken a shard with him. <sighs> He's smarter than he looks. This. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. It's fine, the Buffer. You can't cool. work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. Uh, We're 30 just years. Have to do no. this the hard way. <laughs> Seven years bad luck. Saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What's well, the hard exactly way? Exactly, is the hard way. We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where the he's going. Some cushioning is freak peeling off. That's smart. Hmm. Smart enough it's to still work. of the mirror. Ha! Huh? We can still solve this ourselves. I know Never that. Never mind it... that. Come help me look. Dang, Snow's looking a little uh, cut to the quick there. I feel kind of bad for Buffkin and his soulless eyes. Like, damn, she's just cutting him off like crazy. All right, this is a good place to stop. Thank you for joining me, guys, on part one of episode three, The Crooked Mile, Wolf Among Us. Anyway, uh, I will continue this right away. I'm not going to stop this episode until I'm, I'm stop recording this episode until I'm done, but I have to stop it right here just to make it more convenient for me to edit and all that good shit. I try to keep it going for a story's sake, and now that we're at a quiet point, I'm going to stop. So, thank you for joining me. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. I hope you to see you all in the future. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the game. Uh, whatever else you guys want to do with my video. Share it around. Like it. Subscribe. Whatever. You got it. You know the gist. You've seen enough YouTubers go through this single bullshit every other time. So, once again, thank you for joining me. And I hope you all have a great day. Later!